we're going to show you the biggest new adventure coming up for Nintendo 3DS. As you've heard, there are two new core Pokemon titles on the way on November 18th. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. As always, you'll pick which new starter Pokemon to partner with. But which one to choose? Exactly what kind of battling awaits you? And what does the new Alola region have in store for players? Well, we figured there was no one better equipped to answer those questions than the two key developers of the game itself, producer Junichi Matsuda and director Shigeru Omori of Game Freak. So before we devote the rest of the day to The Legend of Zelda, I'm going to turn it over to the Treehouse team, along with Mr. Matsuda and Mr. Omori, to show you what it's like to start as a Pokemon trainer in the first ever live gameplay demonstration of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. So let's jump in. Take it away, Sam and Terry. Thanks, Reggie. And thanks to everyone watching for tuning in and joining us for another Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. We're really excited to get started. So as uh, Reggie mentioned, I'm Sam from Nintendo. And joining me up here, I've got Terry from Nintendo hey. and my colleague David from TPCI. And we've also got our very special guests, uh, Masuda-san and Omori-san from Game Freak, who are joining us to chat about Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Now, uh, Pokemon fans already know that you guys have a very long history of working with the Pokemon franchise. But could you tell our viewers a little bit more about what you guys are doing specifically with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? まあ、2周年ということで、え、ま、ここから先のポケモンを未来に向けてのポケモンということで、私はあのプロデュースに徹して、え、今回、え、シゲルオモリがえ、ディレクターという so this is the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, as I think many of you know. And when thinking about the future of Pokemon, uh, I've decided that I would be the producer uh, on this title and also and pass over the uh, director role over to Shigeru Omori here for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh,と今回えっとポケットモンスターサンムーンのえっとディレクターをしました。大森と申します。えっと今回はディレクターとして開発全体を担ったありました。so I'm Shigeru Omori from Game Freak, and I was the director on this game, overseeing the entire development of it. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I know you brought some art assets that we can take a look at to introduce folks to the Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Sun collection. But first, we've actually got some video footage that you brought for us. So uh, folks watching, if you sit tight, we're actually going to get that queued up for you so you can take a look. All right, so there's a lot for us to talk about just from the footage there. Uh, the first thing I'd like to actually uh, ask you is uh, if you could tell us a little bit more about the background of why you went with Sun and Moon as the titles for these games. あの、ま、私たちのあの住んでいるこの地球っていうところにはま、生き物がたくさんいるわけですけども、ま、その中でえ、ま、その生き物に対してとても影響がある
、えー、まあそのコアとなっているものっていうのはやっぱり太陽と月っていうのはあの非常にこう大切なものだと思うんですね。で今回はそのまあ生命をまあよりこう魅力的にあの見せていきたいっていう思いもあって。まあ、その一番影響のあるもの、えー、サンとムーンっていうのをタイトルにしました。So there's a variety of meanings、uh, behind the titles, but one of the main things is that, for example, for here on Earth, obviously, the sun、uh, really is the source of all life、uh, on this planet. And in the same way in the Pokemon world, it's also the、uh, source of life on the planet. And the moon also affects、uh, all of our lives here as well. And with this game, we really wanted to express this kind of feeling of a region really teeming with life. So we felt that sun and moon would be an, an appropriate title for the games. I think, especially thinking about these big elemental forces, sun and the moon,、uh, we also need to talk about those legendaries that are on the packaging, because I think folks are going to really want to hear a little bit more about、uh, what they can expect from those Pokemon. So, Tayo to Matsuki no Sonzai no Tabo, Arawashi Nimo Natan, and I have one skin, and the Kakui, then Setsu no Pokemon Tsuite, and Hanashi Mora Maska. So, this is the sun and the Solgareo, the Tayo no Sisha. The moon no Hono, Lunara, the Tsuki no Sisha, and the Styler, the Tayo no Sisha. まあ、今まで、えー、以上に、あのー、物語自体にかなり、えー、関係してくる2匹になりますので、えー、楽しみにしていてほしいなと思います。So in, in the games, the legends say that、uh, Sol Galeo and、uh, Lunala are the emissaries of the sun and the moon respectively.、Uh, and they, these two legendary Pokemon actually they kind of play a unique role. They tie into the story in a unique way that we really haven't done with pairs of Uh, legendary Pokemon before us.、So、I think fans will be really excited about it. I think there's a really interesting spiritual element that we get in these games. I won't talk about that too much yet because I know we're saving some surprises. But on the subject of legendaries, I know、um, you recently had an event in Taiwan where you revealed some news about another legendary Pokemon folks remember from XY and what they might expect from that Pokemon in these games.、Uh, we can maybe talk about that a little bit too. Just a dense Pokemon. I'm going to talk about the news of Taiwan. I'm going to talk about the news of Taiwan. I'm going to talk about the news of Taiwan. I'm going to talk about the news of Taiwan. I'm going to talk about the news of Taiwan. I'm going to talk about the news of Taiwan. あのいよいよあの 10% ジガルデとあのパーフェクトジガルデがまあサンムーンに登場するというお知らせがえ出ましたけどもえまあ今回あのこのまあジガルデも活躍するっていうのがまああのポイントかなと思います。So, uh, uh, One of the legendary Pokemon that appeared in、uh, originally、oh, in Pokemon X and、nice. Y. It has、awesome. recently showed off their,、uh, the 10% form and complete form、uh, in the games. And these Pokemon will, or these forms, will appear in Pokemon Sun and Moon kind of a, a, in a special way that I think、uh, people will be excited about.、Oh, they look so cool. And, and actually,、uh, here, since we're looking at a little bit of the Alola region in the background,、uh, this is probably a good chance to talk、uh, maybe in a little bit more detail about the Alola region and what players can maybe expect there. Well, to conquer, my book in the Buddha in the Narco, Alola Jiho in the city, my don't, 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 my アローラ地方っていう名前なんですけども、えー、と名前の由来としては、えー、命を育んで、まあ、命を育み生命力にあふれる大地という意味を込めてこの名前にしました。Uh, so, the Alola region, as you can see, is made up of these、uh, four islands. It has a, a man made island as well.、Um, but it's really、uh, this region that's just like a teeming with life. And that's actually behind the, the name of the region itself. We have this、uh, meaning of kind of a、uh, uh, region over, like a miraculous region overflowing with this life force that can support all this different、uh, life. And,、um, Yeah, I think it's really interesting since it's not connected to any of the other regions. You've、yeah. got this really interesting area of isolation, and we're seeing all these Pokemon that nobody's ever run into before. And it's almost kind of feels like the Galapagos Islands, where you've got this really interesting remote area where all these other creatures are, are popping up, and you've got new Pokemon and a really cool environment、so、as well to explore. It's not connected to any other regions. 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 Yeah, I think、uh, people will be surprised. There's some cool things to see in there. There are, I've been 
また、えー、三体のポケモンなんですけれども、うん、これに、えー、この三体について教えてもらえますか。そうですね。もうどの三体ももう可愛いんですけども、今回特にえっ、ー、と動きについてすごく意識して作ってまして、まあえっ、ー、とバトル中だったりとか、まあえっ、ー、といろんな時にこう動きが可愛くなるようなデザインとして作られています。はい、so of course they're all very cute, but、uh, one of the things they're really focused on with these three in particular is making their movements really cute when they're represented in the game. Like for example, in battle and other parts in the game, you see them moving around, and they're really cute. Kind of make you want to reach out and touch them almost. あとあのやっぱりこう世界中の人が見てまあこう分かりやすいデザインであったりとかあのタイプのカラーまあ草タイプだったらグリーンが入っていたりとかっていうその分かりやすさっていうのをやっぱりあの最初の3匹は大事にしています。And another thing we always pay attention to with or really focus on with the initial Pokemon that you choose for your partner is making them kind of universally relatable so people from around the world will be able to look at these Pokemon and relate with them very easily and also very easy to understand like for example the grass type Pokemon is going to be green obviously so being careful with the colors. I think what folks have seen already from the animations that we've shown in a little bit of video footage we've been able to share they they have a lot of personality. I actually picked Poplio because I'm a hardcore I'm a hardcore water starter fan. My first was a Squirtle, and I'm stuck with them. But I've been having a great time so far, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what other folks pick when they get into the starters as well. I'm going to pick the Zenigame and the Mizu type. I'm going to pick the Zenigame. I'm going to pick the Zenigame. I'm going to pick the Zenigame. And since we're actually what you talked about with the, the design of the starter Pokemon, I think they also really fit nicely in with the kind of tropical climate and environment we've got. And I know that's something that you worked in with the design of the player characters as well this time around. I'm going to pick the Zenigame. 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 I'm っていうのを表現する、えー、まあ地方ですね、えー、表現するためにかなり軽装にしています。So yeah, obviously the region this time, the climate there is extremely warm. So we wanted to make sure that the、uh, characters, the designs were more lightly dressed than they maybe other designs have in the past. I think fans will notice the proportions are different, especially when we get into gameplay in a couple seconds here.、Um, they're going to see it's, it's it's a little different how they're used to seeing their characters in the game. まだあの。まあ今回ちょっとあのこの後キープレイを見せるんですけれども、ちょっとあのあれですね、等身がちょっと変わったっていう話ですよね。そうですね。あのよりこう没入感高めと思って等身上がってますね。今回。So yeah, we、uh, we changed the proportions this time to be more realistic. We really wanted to kind of increase this sense of immersion, and I think you'll、uh, see that when we get into the game. Yeah, I I don't know if I can talk about this yet, but sharp-eyed viewers probably noticed that both of those、uh, pieces of art there was an interesting bracelet that the players were wearing. I don't know if we can probably can't talk about that just yet. Just 喋れないかもあんまり話せないかもしれないですけど、目の鋭い人はあの腕輪みたいなものってつけてるんですけど。ありました。ありました。For later time, maybe we can talk about that. But I think we've probably kept folks in anticipation long enough. So Terry, you want to jump in and show some gameplay? I'm excited for this. また捨てるので早速行きたいと思います。So I just want to mention as we get into gameplay here, this game is still in development. So folks, everything you see here might not be exactly what you're going to see in the final release of the game, but I think we can give you a really good sense of what the game is going to look and feel like as we get started. まあ最初のものでも。開発中のものもすそうですね。あのこんな早い段階で実はあのライブでも行うのは初めてで、あのどんなポケモンが出るかっていうのもちょっと世界初公開のポケモンも登場するかもしれないんで、ドキドキちょっとドキドキしますね。<笑>これ。This is actually the first time for us、uh, to show a Pokemon game at this stage in development, kind of via live gameplay. So,、uh, not really sure exactly what we're gonna encounter in this. We may see some all new Pokemon that haven't been revealed before. Oh, keep my fingers crossed. That'd be really cool.、Um, actually, as we get started here.、Um, Masuda San Nomori san, can you tell us a little bit about、uh, the story and the background of what's going on right now in the game? Well, now, here, the main character is what? What is the story? So, the main character is Aurora State, which is the first place to go to Aurora State. So, the main character is the first place to go to Aurora State. So, the main character is the first place to go to Aurora State. So, the main character is the first place to go to Aurora State. So, the main character is the first place to go to Aurora State. Uh, the other day, and、uh, one day previous to where we are in the game, he actually、uh, received his first partner Pokemon for his adventure. And right now, we're actually on the way to a neighboring town where there's a, a festival. Oh, and I think here well, we can see what we were talking <laughs> about earlier. <laughs> oh, you're just jumping into the low grass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh
<笑>あーびっくりするこれ<笑>するレディはですねザ・レディはいや<笑>えっとまあアローラ地方には他の地方のポケモンも出てきます<笑>はい So as you can see in the Alola region obviously it's not just new Pokemon that are unique to the Alola region but from other regions you see Pokemon <笑>まあ今回あのトレーナーとポケモンっていうものもしっかり描きたいと思ってあのトレーナーが一緒にこうポケモンの後ろにいるっていうところを再現してますね。And as you can probably see here in battle, you see the trainer is actually standing behind、uh, the, po the Pokemon、uh, in the battle. So we really wanted to express this、uh, feeling of the trainer always being with his or her Pokemon. Yeah, I'd love to talk about that in a little bit more detail here because I feel like there's so much that you've done with、um, uh, the way the battle looks in this game to make it feel really intense and really immersive. I was wondering if we could talk a little bit more about that with what you did with、um, the lighting and the dynamic camera angles here. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the lighting and the dynamic camera angles here. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the lighting and the dynamic camera angles here. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the lighting and the dynamic camera angles here. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the lighting and the dynamic camera angles here. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the lighting and the Uh, for example, like the shadow, you see it's、uh, in the evening right now, so it's a bit longer. But depending on the time of day, the, the lighting will kind of、uh, affect the mood of the battle. I think here、uh, Terry's kind of staying still for a second to let us see how the camera is, is moving around. And this is something that'll just happen for you if you're staying still in the battle for a moment. And you really get a good chance to get a look at these Pokemon and the area that you're in and the environment. So, yeah, there's、uh, definitely some cool.、Uh, we try to make the camera feel really dy dynamic、uh, in the battles this time around. And actually, as、uh, Terry gets started in the battle here, I was wondering if we could talk a little bit more about、uh, the different changes you've made to the battle interface. I know there's a lot here that's really interesting, which makes the game really accessible to new players. Maybe this is their first Pokemon game,、mm -hmm. but it's also, I think, really satisfying as someone who's played a lot of Pokemon games. It just it feels really good, the changes that you've made here. そうですね、まあ、今回とても、えー、と親切なというか説明がいろいろ入れています例えばその、えー、とインフォメーションボタンがあるんですけどもそちらをタッチすると今その技がどんな技かというのを一目で分かるようになっていますそう、so, yeah, really really uh, the move、ですのでこの辺りはあのもう一回ちょっと。I think it's been so helpful. There, there are just so many Pokemon that you have to, to keep in mind now as you're battling. It's so nice to be able to pull it up. And if maybe you don't quite remember what something does, being able to just pop it up really fast there, it's like you don't have to use that information. But if maybe your memory is not as good as it used to be and you need it, it's so nice to be able to pull that up and take a look. You can tap on the、uh, 2D Pokemon icon that's at the touch screen and see how its parameters actually just got changed、um, because of a, the effect of a, of a move. So, as you just said, like a lot of things that you had to keep in your head, you had to remember、uh, before, are now visualized on the interface itself. All right, let's see how this battle goes. Are you, are you planning on trying to capture this? I'm going to begin my quest to catch them all. all. Oh. Okay, look. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, get it. You can、oh. do it, I think. So,、um, just to, to bring up real quickly, for folks who maybe haven't played a Pokemon game before,、um, battling Pokemon is really at the core of what the series is all about. You're going out into the world with your Pokemon, battling. Oh, oh. this is the most stressful moment. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay so we're able to catch this Pokemon.、Um, but it's a really interesting game if you're interested in battle and strategy and in,、uh, collecting all these really interesting Pokemon that you meet. And, oh, and Pokemon leveled up. Good job. <laughs> And it was nice there too seeing how the, the level up change. Oh, and this is actually something、oh. that we should talk about as well.、Um, can you tell our viewers a little bit more about、um, what they're seeing on the upper screen? I'm going to show you a little bit more about the upper screen. I'm going to show you a little bit more about the upper screen. I'm g o i n 捕まえたポケモンの、まあ、進化後かそれとももしかしたらペアとなるポケモンが出てくるかもしれないっていう
風に演出しています。いろいろこうどんなポケモンがいるんだろうって考えながら育てたり捕まえたりしてほしいなと思います。So one of the things we wanted to do with the Pokédex this time was really encourage players to again really want to catch them all, really fill up the Pokédex. And one way we've done that, as you can see, there's the Ladybug just got registered, but next to it is a white Pokéball icon. And what that does, that indicates that there's an empty space, which means that either it has an evolution or maybe there's another Pokémon out there that kind of forms a pair with it. So that'll kind of encourage players to really want to fill up that empty space, go out and search and you know catch all different types of Pokémon and kind of complete their Pokédex. Yes, especially exciting. I think when you find one and there's lots of white Pokéballs and you're just like, oh, okay. So it's an empty space. Got a lot of work to do. Yes. 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 これは新ポケモンですね、えー、とヤングースというポケモンですいつもまあお腹をすかしていて、まあ、お腹が減っていくとこう怒りっぽくなっちゃうっていうポケモンらしいですね。So, as you can see, this is the new Pokemon called Young Goose.、Um, it's always hungry, so it's always、uh, getting hungry and then so it's looking for food, but whenever it's hungry, it also gets very aggressive. I love its face. It's <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I like the <laughs> I feel kind of bad for it though. I feel like you just throw it a bag of chips or something, and it'd be like, "Thank you." Always hungry. Always hungry. Oh, 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 Oh. Oh. Nice. And actually, this will give us a chance to maybe take a look at the Pokedex. So, we've got a new Pokemon to check out. So, we've got some,、uh, some interesting changes coming to the Pokedex in this game.、Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what fans can expect from the new Pokedex? そうですね、えー、と今回、えーと、ロトム図鑑というものがあります、えー、とこのロトム図鑑ですけれども、えー、ポケモンを捕まえる情報をくれたりとか、まあ、冒険で次どこに行けばいいんだろうということを教えてくれたり、えー、と冒険を常にサポートしてくれる図鑑です。So, actually, one of the new、uh, things in this game is that we have this、uh, item called the Rotom Pokedex, and Rotom kind of inhabits your Pokedex and actually helps you、uh, in your adventure. So, it'll tell you information about、uh, Pokemon that you really want to catch or、uh, give you tips about how to catch Pokemon and also got, kind of guide you on your adventure where you should go next, for example. So, it serves as a really cool supportive function. So, right here, actually, we're, we're still really early in the game. We don't have the Rotom Pokedex, so the touch screen is just black on the bottom, but you'll get it later. And here, actually, this is a great chance. If we just like, take a little quick circle around, we can show off、uh, not only the trainer's proportions, but also the, the movement is a little bit different than what、um, folks、ね、who played previous Pokemon games have expected. So, yeah, you can move around. It's free、uh, full analog movement this time in the game. Oh. Oh, oh, and oh. I, we need to tell players what's going on、uh, here when they're seeing the, the shadow come in. まあ、今、あそこのキャラクターがこうモンスターボールをこう投げているんですけどあれはこうポケモントレーナーですねでポケモントレーナーの視線に引っかからないようにまあ上下でこうその緊張感をこう表しています。So you see that, uh... Lady over there, or the girl throwing a Pokeball up and down, and、uh, so she's a Pokemon trainer. And what、uh, she's obviously going to try and battle you, but what that kind of、uh, shadow that appears on the screen indicates is that there's a that she's going to challenge you to a battle, so it kind of increases this sense of tension of you're about to go into a battle and indicates that to the player. So I can either avoid her or actually battle her. Yeah, well, battle her, Suruka, or Sakiruka. I think we'll avoid her. Yeah, it feels like that moment where two people are like, glaring at each other. <laughs> Ready to fight. <laughs> But it is really nice if you're in a position where maybe you're trying to get somewhere really quickly or your Pokemon aren't in great shape right now, you don't want to fight. It's, it's nice to have that second where you can avoid it before you just kind of stumble yourself into a battle. I think as we can see here,、um, we're seeing the other trainer as well. And it's really nice actually just to get such a good look at the Pokemon proportions alongside their trainers. So, I think that's a good look at the Pokemon's proportions. 
トレーナーがいることによって表現できているっていうのが今回の新しいところですね。Yeah, it's definitely one of the new things. I think by having the trainers in battle, like you mentioned, it really gives you that sense of scale. And I think from the experience I've had at the office playing this game, it's really going to surprise people when they take a look at just how big and small certain Pokemon are when they're actually standing right next to them. まあ結構多分今まで実感わからなかった部分も多かったんじゃないですけど、まあ実際遊んでみてやっぱこうあこのポケモンこの大きさだったんだみたいなって思うところも多分多いんじゃないかなって。あと,えとトレーナーごとにですねいろいろこうモーションを工夫してまして例えばボールの投げ方だったりとかまあポケモンに指示を出す仕草とかまあそういったものが細やかに設定されていますやられちゃったポーズとかやられちゃった。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。I think there might be some more folks we can battle up here. As we're walking around, a, I'm hoping folks who are watching are listening with the volume up so they can hear the, the music in this area. I just, I found it's really great how it feels.、Uh, it really fits in with the tropical environment. I love how enthusiastic he looks. All right, Oliver. And we can see as Terry's battling here,、um, with how the battle interface is set up, it's really easy to just get super involved in the battle to, to whatever extent you want to be.、Um, you've got all this information at your fingertips. It's not that you have to look at it all, but it's so nice that if there's anything that you need to check on, you can do it so quickly、mm -hmm. and, and you still feel really immersed in the battle. やっぱそうですね、あのバトルのインターフェースでこういろんな情報を今,、まあ、今回覚えなくてもいいという話だったんですけども、はいまあ、見たいときはもうあのタッチ一つでこうやっぱこう情報をすぐに出せるのがやっぱこう便利ですね,あそうですねやっぱりこうバトルをしていて、まあ、こいつどんな状態だったっけとか、まあ、そういったことがすぐこう情報に出せるということは初心者でも、まあ、この奥深いバトルに、まあ、とっつきやすくなるかなと入れました。<笑>言われているポケモンですね。そうです。ピカペック、これはウッドポーカー、あ、すみません、ウッド、ウッドポーカー。I can't even speak, but、uh, so the, the setting of this Pokemon is that it can actually peck 16 times in one second. So it's got very fast、uh, beak there. 16回というのは特徴だよね。16回というのは大事。<laughs> We're very particular about the number 16. <laughs> Yeah, watching its animation as it's, it, it's got very bird like movements as it's kind of twitching its head side to side. And I think that the level of detail that you guys have put into all the Pokemon animations in this game is really fantastic. Pokemon, so there's a new look to the house, like a coma, I can set it to have a shot on the capital. What can you ask me? Oh, no, no, Terry! Oh, no, 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 n As a good chance to mention, actually,、uh, we did find a Pokeball earlier as we were walking around. And you can find some good items、mm. to help you out along the way that can help you heal up your Pokemon. And... Oh. Oh. High risk. <laughs> 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 Your l a d y b u g got a level out of that, though. Mm-hmm. Ah, これで level up, ですね l a d y b u g Almost another one. <laughs> game no dai gomi, ですね So, this is definitely one of the. I think one of the things that really makes Pokemon a fun game is kind of like the sense of tension here. So, do we have anything we can give p a p o y o t a I think it's time to go to the festival. Oh, oh. you're ready. Awesome. Oh, no. We'll just run from this one. All right. So, this is one of the things that really makes Pokemon a fun game is kind of like the sense of tension here.
Terry, are you going to heal up after this? Or? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get healed up. We'll get healed up. I think get before we get to up. the festival, because that's... Yep. Not to give too much away, but there's... Hmm? There's more fighting in your mm -hmm. future. More fighting. <laughs> so, uh, actually, as we come into the, this area here, we're going to be meeting several different characters that uh, our viewers maybe aren't familiar with. Uh, would you mind just giving us a quick introduction to them? Just some of them. Ah, characters.出てくるんですけども、それぞれちょっと紹介してもらってもいいですか？簡単に。そうですね。えっと、今リリータウンに到着したんですけども、このキャラクターがハラというキャラクターですね。えっと、最初にまあポケモンをくれるというキャ
Nice. So yeah, we actually took, a, as the, the staff, the development staff at Game Freak, we took uh, trips to Hawaii to really do some research, and we've definitely uh, utilized that to kind of reflect yeah. it in the game. And <laughs> I should have convinced my boss that I need to do that to prep for this. To, to really get this segment, I, I really need to go to Hawaii. I'm going to go to Hawaii. I'm going to go to Hawaii. Come on, Terry, show us what you got. Oh, oh, that's one nice. down. Oh. So we saw with the icons as the battle started. Um, I think Hao has one more Pokemon to go. Hao has one more Ooh, a new skill. Nice. She was a little bit stronger. There we see one of the other new starters. This is so at this point in the story, you see uh, how has Litten, uh, which is another one of the first Pokemon you can choose in your adventure. But you've actually encountered, uh, you've battled against him and his Litten once in the story. And so once you've, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, once you've battled the Pokemon once, the next time you battle it, you'll get information on your move list about which moves are effective and which ones aren't. あの、あれですね。あの、スーパーエフェクティブっていうの。効果抜群っていう。そうですね。あの、so just explaining that, you know, water gun is a it's super effective strong. Yeah, whatever you think. I think I'll stick with that one. Yeah. 初心者でも分かりやすい風にしています。So it's just coming back to make it all very easy to understand for even beginners of the games. Oh. Yeah, really is so nice to have that information. あるとやっぱ助かりますね。I think especially when you're trying to catch more Pokemon, and you're like, okay, I, I actually maybe don't want to be super effective yeah. right now. I need to kind of whittle this Pokemon down. So yeah. being able to remember maybe you want to use your weaker oh. attacks sometimes just to kind of get them yeah. just to that point. I love what a good sport how is about losing too. He's just kind of rolling with it. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't think we can go too much further in the gameplay because we're going to start giving away story elements that we don't want to show folks yet. Um, but you did bring another video for us to take a look at that has um, a new gameplay mode that uh, I don't think folks have seen before. この先やっぱ実機プレイを進めるとあのまストーリーのネタバレ的なところも出てしまうことになるので、ま、ここまでにして、え、ただあのもう一つちょっと映像をあの、ま、持ってきていただいて、持ってきているという理解なんですけども、
Uh, it's only a one-on-one -on -one situation, so you can look at their Pokemon and say, okay, I've got this Pokemon that's going to be strong against this one, but you're worried about two other opponents here, so you really have to think about who's going to fare best against a group. Three other opponents, actually. Yeah, it's... そうですね、あのやっぱこう今までだったらこうチーム戦とかあとまあ1対1のポケモンバトルが、うんえー、多分主流だったと思うんですけども今回はやっぱこう相手3人気にしなきゃいけないっていうのはまあ特徴ですよね。そうですね、えーとまあ、今回特徴としてこう4匹いるポケモンの中で誰を倒すかっていうのを考えないといけませんで例えば1匹すごい強いポケモンがいても3人で集中攻撃すれば倒せるといった戦略性もあります。So yeah, it's a free for all, and of course, you know, you could have three people gang up on one really strong person, or you really have to kind of determine your strategy about how you're gonna, you know, which order you're gonna defeat Pokemon, who you're gonna focus on. Right. So, totally new uh, gameplay. Yeah, it is interesting how how much more intense it feels. Where I'm used to just looking at the trainer in front of me and fighting them, and suddenly it's like, oh, there's two more trainers. I have to pay attention to everybody. <laughs> and folks watching there, uh, you may have caught that the trainers there were wearing different outfits from what we saw with the. Uh, the regular player characters that we've shown off so far, we can't really talk about that yet, but <laughs> worth noticing. So, yeah, you can actually uh, customize your outfits in, the, in this game as well. So. so, we're just about out of time, but before we wrap up, um, I was curious now that you've had a chance to uh, see some fan reaction for these games, um, how's it been seeing how uh, Pokemon fans have reacted for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? まあ、ちょっと時間が来てしまいましたけれども、えーまあ、今回の、えー、ポケモンサンムーン発表されてから、えー、多分まあファンからの反響というのはあるんですけれども、そのまあ、手応えについてお話してもらえますかそうですね、あのー、今回、えー、7言語から、えー、9言語に中文を、えー、増やしまして、えー、特にその中文使われている人たちからもたくさんあの反響いただいてまして、まあ、自分のツイッターとか、あのー、いただいてるんですけれども。やっぱりこう、まあ、ポケモン20周年ということもあってここからさらにこう広がりを見せるために、まあ、非常にこうみんなが喜んでくれて、まあ、とても嬉しいなと思ってます。So uh, yes, the, fan, the reaction from everyone has been really great. You know, I get tons of messages and tweets and everything. Uh, this being the you know the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, uh, one of the goals we really want to kind of you know for the future of Pokemon really kind of expand it to even a wider audience. And as I think you, we've announced previously, uh, in the addition to the seven languages we had in uh, X and Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, we also added uh, Chinese, uh, simplified Chinese, and uh, traditional Chinese. And I think a lot of the, especially from uh, those regions, like fans have. Really been kind of excited about it and sending me lots of uh, great messages. And、uh, is there anything、uh, final that you'd like to wrap up and say to fans who are watching the stream right now? Just 最後にあのまあファンに向けてのメッセージということで何かありますか。そうですね。あのもう今までにないチャレンジをこのソフトはサントムーンはしているので、あの皆さんすごい楽しみに待っててください。So, yeah, I think、uh, Sun and Moon, we're、uh, really doing a lot of new challenges for for us here as Game Freak. So I hope everyone really just look forward to the games. Well, thank you. えっとまあ、自分も完全新作としてのディレクター初めてだったんで、まあ、たくさんの苦労があったんですけどもその甲斐があってすごいいいゲームができたので期待しててください。So there was a lot of challenges for me, especially as、uh, it's the first time directing an, you know, an entirely new generation of Pokemon at Game Freak. But I think we've really、uh, brought the game together. It's really turned into something fantastic, and I hope fans really look forward to it. I, I know I'm definitely looking forward to it. And thank you so much、uh, for joining us and giving us some insight into the development work here.、Uh, folks watching again, that was Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, which are coming out for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems this November. So you don't have to wait too much longer. And、uh, please don't go anywhere. <laughs> In a few moments, we're actually going to be coming back.、Uh, Aonuma san is going to be stopping. By to show us some gameplay for a game you might be thinking about,、uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So、uh, please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you.